All right. So as you guys can see by the title of the video, maybe even, you know, the thumbnail, um, I just want to talk about not self-medicating and instead meditating uh, today. So, you know, because I was actually just meditating slash, you know, having some conscious relaxation time. Really, you know, I'm I was just like laying um, on my bed and just think, kind of letting my mind go and and do whatever, you know. And also, I was, um, uh, you know, reflecting on myself. So, and this this just came to me to make this video, and I, I just wanted to strike while the iron was hot, while the inspiration was, you know, while the inspiration came to me. I just want to start this off before I even get into anything that I, else that I'm about to say. Um, I'm not perfect, and I do self-medicate um, through, I like you could say it's self-medicating, you know, sometimes I'm more, you know, gluttonous. Um, you know, I like to eat, so, you know, that that's self-medicating in a way. But as far as drugs and alcohol, literally, like, you know, never done any of that. You can name it cigarette, not even a cigarette, not even a vape. I've never done any of that. So, um, that may be hard to believe, but it's the truth. Um, something else I do, just to throw another flaw of mine out there. Because I don't self-medicate, not even, like, you know, I've had... I've had my sister tell me, well, you need to relax because you're uptight and you need to <laughs> smoke some weed or something. And I've thought the same about myself because I get uptight and angry and the little little things in life build up and then I like snap. Like some little thing happens and just the little things build up and I've just snapped before and I'll kind of spaz out, you know. I've been called a spaz. I've been called stuff like that, so... Yeah, so that gives you an idea about my um, personality, I guess. But anyways, so, yeah, like, I'm not perfect. I have some, I used to have way worse anger issues, but my anger issues now, I still have them, I would say, but they're m more tame, so, you know, minor anger issues, I guess. And, um, like I said, I'm gluttonous, so I'm not perfect. But now, let's get in, you know to the drugs and alcohol that, you know, you see the average person just, it just, you know, it destroys their life or maybe not even destroys their life. I mean, yeah, it destroys some people's lives, but, but it's, but it holds them back, um, significantly. Right. And it's just like, see I, how I was just meditating. Cause I knew, cause it's been building up in me for a while now. Like, man, you, I just need to get away from this fast-paced world, man, because it is not my pace. My pace can be fast-paced sometimes, but but overall, I'm not a fast-paced type person. And you all know, at least here in the West and the in the United States, how everything's just go 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 go, literally. And that's why you see so many people, you know self-medicating with via drugs and alcohol because it's literally you know they just want to you know they want to be unaware for a minute and i get it i get like the wanting to escape and stuff like that sometimes but anyways i mean i, I really to be honest with you guys i don't think i mean because this is just me saying this right coming from a person who's never done any of that i don't see a point when when you have something like meditation you know it's a tool, right? I mean, you could say that. I mean, it's just getting back to self. Let's think, like, why would you self-medicate via drugs and alcohol? You know what I mean? Like, why would... I don't understand wanting to be... The, the desire to be unaware or to be less aware. I want to be as conscious as possible at all times. That's just me, though. But But my thing is, like... People just don't think in our society, you know, because it's just go, 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 go. So they're not going to really 
think as much if you guys get what I'm saying. Like, you know, they're, they're just going to not really think about the consequences of their actions. Like, you know, what I'm saying, using drugs and alcohol to escape. Instead, meditate because, okay, meditating, it's you're aware, number one. You know, it's healthy. And you can literally, because like I said, this world is go, 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 fast pace, right? If you're meditating like really well and you're slowing down your heart rate and you're breathing, that's really what it is. It's the breathing, breathing to slow down your heart rate and getting in a deep, relaxed state is literally what slows down time. I'm not kidding you. Yes, I'm saying it. you can control time. There's been, I'm pretty sure, like many yogis and, you know, mystics that have said this. I mean, it's nothing new. It's just that people don't, um, don't know about this. Um, they haven't been taught this. So I get it, but this is what people need to start doing instead of drink and do drugs, you know. Another thing is, too, I mean, with doing drugs and alcohol, you're literally, like, <laughs> making things worse on yourself. You're literally suppressing shit. You know what I mean? You're literally just suppressing shit. And I mean, that is a huge reason why society is so fucked up. But, yeah, I'm not the smartest person. I don't do the smartest things. But, you know, this, I, I just wanted to make this video because it's like, I want to put it out and put it, put it in the people's minds that, you know, instead of, you know, doing what people normally do when life is overwhelming and they, they're faced with challenges and sh a bunch of stress and stuff like that, you know, when you really feel like you have to definitely meditate, don't self-medicate. Okay, make that a hashtag. <laughs> uh, meditate, don't self-medicate. Or, or don't self-medicate, meditate, whatever. Make it a hashtag, make it a challenge. Let's see how many people, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of joking, but kind of serious at the same time. Because I, I know, like, not many people are probably going to see this video. I mean, I hope so, but, you know, YouTube, YouTube fucks me, so, you know. But, but how funny would it be? Hashtag don't, don't self medicate, meditate goes viral <laughs> because I'm making this video. That'd be funny. That'd be cool. But yeah, but for real, like, you know, get to the root of your problems is what I'm saying. That's why you gotta, me uh, you know, meditate, self reflect, breathe, you know, slow down your heart rate. Because cause here's my thing why I was meditating today, okay? Time, like I swear to God, time goes by so motherfucking fast. Okay, we all know this, but it's just like, lately for me, it seems like it's just like, like weeks to me now, I swear to God, weeks are nothing. Weeks, weeks are just nothing anymore. Um, So that's why I was meditating just not too long ago. Like, I, I just wanted to, like... I gotta slow down time, and I wasn't even doing the breathing exercises, to be honest with you, but I I need to do that, because it's more effective if you do it that way, You because it literally directly affects your heart rate, because you're, you're consciously, you know what I mean, it's more of a conscious action to slow down your heart rate, therefore slow down time. Not kidding. I've done this before, and literally... I would, I thought 20 minutes had gone by, but only 7 minutes have go had gone by. I mean, another thing is too, like, you're literally, like, think about how dumb this is too. I want to bring this up as well. Think about how dumb it is that when you're self-medicating with your drugs or alcohol, you are literally spending money to deteriorate yourself. Because you're, like I said, you're suppressing your problems. But hey, but hey, but hey, I got a solution for you. Meditation is free. <laughs> isn't that funny? I mean, isn't that really funny? But, you know, really think about that. Meditation is free. Breath work is free. Self-reflection is free. Those bring you the benefits though that 
that is all free and it brings you the benefits. But, you know, you're paying for those drugs and alcohol and it's it's not beneficial at all. It's a, it's a hindrance. It's a hindrance. I just find that so funny. We humans are very funny. Like, and I'm including myself in that even though I don't do any of that. I still do stuff like that. You know, I I mean, you know what I mean? Like there's just there's just funny funny things that we humans do. It's just it makes no sense. <laughs> uh it, I don't know. I I just find that really funny, but anyways. All right, something else that I forgot to mention that I want to talk about. You know, I think I may have even Ah, uh, here we go with this bullshit. Okay. Hold on, let me close this out. All this bullshit out. Just updated my computer, that's why I did that. Anyways, um, I think I may have talked about it on this channel before, but, like, look at what they call alcoholic beverages that are distilled to increase the, their alcohol content. Spirits. Why do you think that is? Because when you consume alcohol, basically you're you're becoming more unconscious, right? The more unconscious you become, you get to a point where... What do you think can enter your body, can even possess you? Spirits. Like somebody that I know, actually. Uh, this happens quite a bit. Trust me, there's somebody within my family that I see this happen all the time. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, you just, you just gotta think about these things. Why would they call them spirits? You know, you gotta take that literally because they're literally telling you that the more you consume alcohol, just the more you're inviting certain entities in. And a lot of times, that is entities that are negative, that are dark, evil, bad, whatever you want to say. So, just be aware of that. Um, that's all I wanted to add. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'm out. Peace.